I don't even know what to say about some of these. These are hilarious. Apparently, I'm just daddy now. Oh my god. What's going on, guys? Chris Bumstead, Gymshark athlete, and today I'm gonna be going over some funny tweets and TikToks from you guys. All right, so I haven't seen these at all yet. I'm gonna be going over and just seeing what's said. I just want Sebum to crumple me up like a piece of paper and fucking throw me. Is that too much to ask for? That is a little bit much to ask for, and I don't know what kind of shit you're into, but being crumpled into and thrown around, I don't know. That's not what I'm into, so you might have to find someone else. Chris Bumstead is just a different animal, man. Wow. I'm trying to be my own beast, let alone a different animal, so thanks, Sam. If you ever need motivation, just look at Daddy Seabum working out. Apparently, I'm just daddy now, so my role model growing up was my dad, so if you guys want to call me daddy and that's your motivation, I'll take it. Just as long as there's no like weird enunciations of daddy where you're just looking at me in the wrong way, but appreciate the love. I believe aliens haven't attacked us yet, they're waiting for the moment where they can steal sebum so they can clone perfection. That's some scary news right there. Maybe they're waiting for me to reach perfection to steal me, to clone me. Hopefully they pick someone other than me because I kind of like this world. If you don't have sebum genes, don't look at me. From a girl too, so. I'm sorry, but you might be lonely your whole life if you're waiting for that. Cause I'm locked in and no one else has my genes, so apologies for that in advance. Chris fucking Bumstead. That is, that's my name. My middle name is now fucking, if you didn't know. I'm replacing it legally. It's done. <laughs> the day I'm built like Chris Bum said is the day it's over for you hoes. I don't know what it means by over, but that's kind of scary. I don't know if you're coming after them in what way, but if you're built like me one day, then I'm just worried that I'm going to be losing the Olympia. So hopefully the hoes are safe and I'm safe on the Olympia stage. Hope C Bum is having a wonderful day. Thank you, Lindsay. It's always a beautiful day. As lifters, I think we can all collectively agree on our obsession with Chris Bumstead. Hearts, monster, crying emoji or something. Thanks, Cody. I appreciate your obsession. For some reason, the only obsessions I have are from other men. So I've just accepted that men are obsessed with me and women don't really care as much. But I appreciate the love nonetheless. That moment when you have a push day and Daddy Seabum posts a new vid about chest day too. I tell people all the time, I'm watching your guys' workouts. When I know you're doing chest that day, I'm uploading my chest workout just for you guys. Daddy Seabum has your back. Chris Bum said, sos mi inspiracion. <laughs> That's my interpretation of Spanish, I'm assuming. I have no idea what language that is, but merci. That's French. Very wrong language, but it's the only other one I know. Just want to look like Daddy Seabum. I mean, if I am your daddy, then that means maybe we share some genes and usually you grow up to look like your father. So maybe one day you will look like daddy Sebo. All right guys, so that's a wrap on the tweets. Now we're gonna be moving on to the funny TikToks. These are always funny, so it should get interesting. There we go. <laughs> I've seen a few of these, these are hilarious. Just getting nervous when I come by. This is my thing too, when I come up to people, sometimes I don't wanna ask how many sets you have left. Cause I'll be like, they recognize me. I'm like, how many sets do you have left? They're like, I'm done. And then they'll just leave and I feel bad. So try not to make you guys nervous. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had oh to go God. run up a check. I got the message on him editing me with my arm around him. That, that's golden right there. Oh wow, a woman in this one. Fair enough. Tell me, fair. <laughs> I got some love from a girl there. Apparently, if you leave your girlfriend for me, she won't be upset. So, anyone looking for an out in the relationship, I got your back. Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? I love that people are so comfortable joking that like men is what they're in love with right now and some other jack dude is thinking about it on their mind all day. Tell them, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm chilling at the top. Ooh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> this is the secret right here why when I walk down the beach and I'm seeing everyone staring at me. Hopefully you never catch me on a nude beach. I don't even want to know what's going to happen. All right, so that was the last one. I think I got to get more on Twitter and TikTok because these are absolutely hilarious. The combination of funny and gratitude that I have that you guys are like using me as inspiration is just, it's really awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you in the next one.